Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, we have the equation 7 factorial times 6 factorial equals a factorial. And we want to find the value of a. Well, first, let's rewrite these. 7 factorial is the same thing as 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7. And we are multiplying this with 6 factorial, which is the same thing as 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6. Now, as you can see, we have 1 all the way to 7. So now what we're going to do is, well, 2 times 4, these two equal 8, right? And that's the next number of the sequence. So we have times 8. Now, how would we get 9? Well, 9 is 3 times 3, right? As you can see, we already have one 3 over here, but we're missing one, another 3. Well, we could actually rewrite 6 as 3 times 2. Now, we can get our 3 from here and multiply these two. 3 times 3 is 9, so we have 8 times 9. And our next term in the sequence would be 10. And 10 would equal this 5 times this 2. So that would equal 10. And now, as you can see, all we have left is 1, which doesn't really count because anything times 1 is just itself. So as you can see, now we have all the numbers 1 through 10 multiplying with each other. And that is the same thing as 10 factorial meaning x is equal to 10, or sorry, a, a is equal to 10. So this is our answer. Welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3x equals 10. And what we're going to do first is we're going to rewrite this equation. We're going to write this as 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Because remember, we when we have something like this, this is equal to x times 3. We multiply the exponents. So we're simply reversing that. And this equals 10. And now what we're going to do is, since we have 2, 2 to the power of x's, we're going to set 2 to the power of x equal y, the variable y. So y equals 2 to the power x. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace all the terms that have 2 to the power of x to y. So this rewrites to 2 to the power of x. That's y plus y to the power of 3 equals 10. Now we're going to subtract 10 on both sides. So we get, let me rewrite this in order of exponents. We have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 equals 0. So now we're actually to factor this, we're going to rewrite this y as, we write it right here, y third 
minus 4y plus 5y. We're going to rewrite the y as minus 4y plus 5y, and we still have the minus 10 here. And this equals 0. Now, from y third, y to the power of 3 minus 4y, we're going to factor out y. So we get y times y squared minus 4. And from 5y minus 10, we're simply going to factor out 5. So we have plus 5 times y minus 10 divided by 5 is 2. And all this still equals 0. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change our y squared minus 4 into y plus 2 times y minus 2. So we have y times y plus 2 times y minus 2. We simply just factored this y squared minus 4. And we're going to add this with 5 times y minus 2. And all of this still equals 0. And now, as you can see, since both terms have y minus 2 in them, we're going to factor out y minus 2 here. So if we factor out y minus 2, we get y times y plus 2 plus 5. And all of this still equals 0. Sorry. I've... And now we've created two equations. We have y minus 2 equals 0 and y times y plus 2 plus 5 equals 0. Now, let's solve our first one here. This one is really simple. We simply add 2 on both sides to isolate y, and we get y is equal to 0 plus 2 is 2, so y is equal to 0 plus 2. And our next solution, well, let's first start by distributing our y here to y plus 2. So we get y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0. And now, as you see, we have a quadratic equation here, and we want to factor this, right? So we're going to do our use our quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So b, remember y squared is a, 2y is b, and 5 is c. So we have negative b, negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2 squared, 4 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5. And we're going to divide this by 2 times a. Remember, a is 1, so we have... 2 times 1, which is simply 2. Now, let me bring this over here. So now we have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5. That's 4 minus 20, 
which is negative 16. And as you see, we can't take the square root of a negative. That's not possible. Meaning this is wrong and this equation is wrong. So our only solution is y equals two. And why don't we plug? So this is our only solution. So now as you can see, y equals two to the power of x, right? So because we already know that y equals two, we have two equals two to the power of x. And what to the power of, or two to the power of what equals two? One, because anything to the power of one equals itself, meaning x equals one. Now, why don't we check our solution in this equation? So if we plug in one for x, we get two to the power of one plus two to the power of three times one equals 10. Two to the power of one is two plus two to the power of three times one is the same thing as two to the power of three, which is eight. This equals 10 and two plus eight does indeed equal 10. So 10 equals 10. And this is right. So our solution here, x equals one is right.